So one of the other techniques we have for expressing um, is to slightly play the two hands um, not together. Um, and that softens the edge of the harpsichord sound, which is, which is so crisp. Um, and it's a technique that was used by keyboard players right up through the 19th century, all, you know, on the piano. Um, went deeply out of favor in the 20th century, and we were all taught to play absolutely together and very cleanly. Right. And I'm happy to say it's come back. You'll hear a lot of very fine modern pianists use, not overuse, but use this technique of a slight um, dividing of the hands. I mean, I use it most in French Baroque. Yes. This is um, Rameau, so French 18th century um, harpsichord music. And so, okay. <laughs> Quite a few of my notes were left hand and right hand weren't weren't right. exacting, and you shouldn't really notice. And even trills that uh, you know are written. We don't. I don't love that as much as I love. Right. So uh, that feeling of just a sort of perfumed um, collection of sound. Right. Okay. <laughs> but but in in this particular piece of Scarlatti, which is so based on singing, you know, it's an aria, if you like, or a beautiful piece for oboe. Or so the legato is really important in this. I think it's on the harpsichord, essential, and you know, any instrument playing it, you'd want to feel that the top line was the singing line, I think, and the, and the left hand some kind of, I don't know, pulsating.